Jeff. How are you? Hi, Jenny. How are you? Good, good. May I join you? Please do. Oh. So how's the research going? Oh, pretty well. What a nice mug. I like the tail. Oh, thank you. It's one of my favorites, but the only weird part of it is that it has a vertical fin instead of horizontal. You know, whales, dolphins, and porpoises actually have a horizontal fin called a fluke, but for some reason they put it on here vertically. I guess it makes it like easier to hold. You know, I've always wondered about that. Why no land mammal has a tail like that, but all whales do. Is it known why whales have tails like that? Yes, actually the earliest whales didn't have a fluke at all. Instead they had a long, narrow tail. Um, if you'd like, I could take you up to the lab and show you. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Hi Hans, I brought Jeff. He's here to see Cuchasitas. Hey Jenny, hey Jeff, how's it going? Cuchasitas is right there. I'm working with some embryos. Hey Hans. So here we have Cuchasitas. Um, he's about 43 million years old and he was found in India. Well, wait a minute, it doesn't look anything like a whale. How do you know it's a whale? Oh yeah, really good question. Um, we know this by the ear bones. Uh, they have an involucrum in it. Remember you and Hans talked about that in the last YouTube video? I remember. Yeah, yeah. This whale actually has a very long tail compared to its body, and but it has short legs. It also has large vertebrae and also large processes for muscles to attach. So although it didn't have a tail fluke, we still think it swam by means of its tail. Hmm, you know, what, what do you mean by that? These vertebrae are a bit flattened, so the tail wasn't circular in cross-section. So here's a good example of a tail vertebrae of Cuchasetus. It's a bit flat, and it's similar to a species of otter, the giant South American freshwater otter, uh, which we know swims by means of its tail. It's slightly different than um, many land mammals. Here's an example of a Pachycetus vertebrae, which we know didn't swim by means of its tail, um, and you can see it's uh, a lot more circular in cross-section. That makes sense. So by comparing the fossil animal to um, a modern animal that swims in a similar way, you can conclude that the ancient animal swam using its tail. Yes, exactly. And we can uh, see traces of a, a long tail that's uh, circular in cross-section in many dolphin embryos. If you'd like, I think Hans is working on that now. Oh, great. Hans, can we take a look at the dolphin embryos? Sure, that's great. Come over here and I'll show you. Okay, Jeff, so let me show you. So mm -hmm. here on the screen are three embryos of a species of dolphin, and these are all dolphins, the mothers of which died in as bycatch of the fisheries. They're next to a paperclip here. Uh, it's a paperclip of regular size, so these are really small animals. And you see that the tails of these little embryos are really small and long, and they're circular on cross-section. I've got three bigger ones here. Um, and as I lift those up, you can really see that that's just a circular tail, like this guy. You see that its tail on cross-section is circular. It's a long tail that um, is pointy. And then as they get a little older, that tail has actually changed. And now the tail looks diamond-shaped. Hmm. And then in our biggest guy, the tail looks like a real fl triangular fluke like the uh, adults have. How old are these fetuses? So this, this oldest one is probably about uh, six months. So you're saying that the earlier embryos have a circular tail structure like a, a land mammal, but then as they develop it flattens out, it forms the diamond structure, and then in the older fetus, a fluke, like we might see in, a, in an adult whale. That's right, yeah. So another interesting thing about these guys is that in these really tiny embryos, you see there that bump, that is the forelimb. Mm -hmm. But then here in this embryo and this embryo, you see this tiny little thing in the back. That's actually the hind limb bud. In a normal mammal, that would develop into the hind limb, but in dolphins and whales, it disappears. So as they get older, it disappears, and the big guys that we over, have over here don't have that at all anymore. You mean dolphins have hind limbs? That's right. All whales and dolphins, when they are this small size, have hind limbs. But then before they're born, those hind limbs go away. You know, Hans, that might be a great topic for another video. Awesome idea. Sounds good.
Skate!